welcome back um, I know it's been a while since I did a video on my keto journey it's actually been about uh, three more weeks the last video I did I, it was like two weeks um, and I'm currently now in week five I think yeah I'm in week five and today is actually day 38 so just want to do a quick video, a quick update on um, what's been going on. Um, the last couple weeks have been kind of crazy um, as far as work and and just life in general. But I have been managing to stay on track as, with my keto diet. Um, I lost a few more pounds. I think the last time I was on here, I lost... I was at 161.8 and um, <clears throat> that was in week, the end of week two. And so the following week I lost, actually I don't even have my weight on here for what I lost that week. But at the beginning of week four, at the beginning of week four, I was down to 156.8. So I was really happy with that. Oh, and I guess in the meantime, in between that time, my cycle had came on. So it kind of fluctuated my weight, which I I, was, I heard that that can happen while you're on keto. Um, so I actually, my, my weight was kind of like yo-yoing and going up and down or whatever. But it wasn't like dramatic, but it was enough. So I didn't, and everybody was saying like, you got to wait for that whoosh. And I guess I finally got the whoosh. But then last week... Last Saturday, this past Saturday, I weighed myself, and I was 158 even. Um, so I actually gained like 1.2 pounds. So I haven't weighed myself since then. Um, and this Friday, I actually am planning a cheat day, my first cheat day in a whole month. So I don't know if this is a good idea, but... We're going out of town, so I already know that the foods that are going to be available to me are not going to be that great. So I'm just going to do a plan cheat day, and I'm going to probably take full advantage of it. I'm going to a car show, um, and we're going to Philly, so I'm probably going to get me a cheesesteak. I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I want to get a cheesesteak, uh, and I'll probably try to, if they if they have it available, do it in a wrap. That way I'm not eating as many carbs. But um, also, I bought um, a, keto, a keto blood monitor and glucose monitor today from Amazon. So that should be here tomorrow because I got one day shipping for free. So I'm going to test my ketones, test my glucose um, to see exactly where I'm at. And I'm, I've been watching all types of videos to try to find, figure out how to get right back on track once I have my cheat day because I heard it's going to be really tough um, getting all those carbs and possibly sugar and stuff. And my body is probably going to want that back again. So I'm going to do what I can to fight it and just get right back in to keto to try to get back into ketosis as quickly as possible. Um, and I'm going to monitor how how long it takes me to get out of keto or get kicked out of keto because I know it can take like a day because it doesn't register right away um, and then how long it actually takes me to get back into ketosis from my cheat day so like I said I'm looking forward to it um, just to see if, if anything my taste buds have changed but if anything, I'm, I'm hoping I can find a cupcake somewhere. I don't know why or how I'm going to find a cupcake. But I kind of want a cupcake just to have something sweet. Um, I know that's not good, but I, I do kind of want to take advantage of this cheat day. Because I'm only, like I said, 33 days in. No. 31 days in. I plan on doing 90 days. Um, total pounds lost so far. Or, let's see, from the last time I weighed myself, including the fluctuation, my total weight loss according to Carb Manager, which is the app that I use, I've lost a total of 10.8 pounds since day one, which was December 31st. Um, so good that's 10 pounds in a month I'm happy with that if I can keep on track with that then I would definitely be within my goal range 
um, by the end of the, the 90 days so that's 10 pounds a month and oh yeah I'm definitely gonna be working out because I know they say once you get those carbs in you want to burn that off is try to get the burn it off as quickly as possible so I do plan on working out um, I ain't work out today I ain't work out yesterday but I'm gonna try to get up tomorrow morning and work out so tomorrow's Wednesday I got Thursday and I'm probably pretty sure I'm probably not gonna get a workout in Friday but I can try um, I can try um, but I would definitely try if possible when I get home Friday it's gonna be late probably like 10 o'clock so I know I'm probably not gonna work out then but I have to try to do something that night just to get off of that carb that I had for all that day um, and definitely Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to go to the gym and either do some cardio and they say do weight training, weight lifting, because that'll that's going to help burn those carbs up even faster to help me get back into ketosis um, faster as well. So that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, just wanted to get a quick update and I will hit you guys back and talk to you guys again after my cheat day, let you guys know how that went. Um, oh make sure y'all subscribe y'all hitting that subscribe button please tell your friends tell your family whoever i'm only at 33 i think subscribers right now i really want to get to 100 and to keep going um so please subscribe i know i might not be all exciting as the rest of the channels but i have real content so hit the subscribe button hit the like button share it with your friends and let's keep this going and as my husband just said let's let the madness begin he can eat whatever he want i'm gonna try to stay i'm gonna try to do this <laughs> I, don't I don't know i don't know how but and i just kind of got a feeling like i'm just gonna from last year hmm, i don't know how this is gonna work but I'm excited either way and it's only one day so I'm gonna make sure that it stays one day and that'll be it so stay tuned subscribe check y'all later bye